let's do this i have a surprise for you and stick till the end of this video if you're preparing for any sort of competitive examination because this is really big i've been working on it for close to a year now around eight or nine months ago when i was still in india i did a post all over i think on youtube first and then other social media platforms like instagram and facebook that should i develop a platform for competitive examination and it was a massive yes and then you guys probably forgot about it but i never did and i continued on working on it and finally it is ready so if you're preparing for any sort of competitive examination number one it's 100 percent free and number two is the most structured detailed guidance for you to prepare so competitive examination aspirants have uh, definitely missed me uh, that's how i started my whole journey with youtube guiding uh, students who are preparing for initially gate examination in mechanical domain then it widened into everyone who's preparing for gate examination then it widened into people who are preparing for competitive examinations in general and people from other domains like uh, bank, PO, civil services, SSC started to pop in. Our channel grew, grew up to like a tremendous 75,000 subscribers in just one year or so. And uh, I really respect that whole community of people who are training people to crack competitive examination. And I admire the dedication of students who are preparing for this examination, you know that I have been both of them. I have uh, taught people for competitive examination, both technically and guidance wise. And I have prepared for competitive examination three times with my last examination being Indian Space Research Organization in 2018, where I secured an All India rank of four. And that was it. That's where I dropped the sword of appearing in competitive examination. The thing is that in the past six months or so, I've not been posting videos on competitive examination, two reasons. Number one, that uh, mainly everything that I needed to say has been said. And I do not like saying the same thing again just to get views. So it is there, the video is public, you can go and check it out, that's it. I do not anymore get guests who are just stoppers in competitive examination because I don't think that's the best thing to do. Uh, I think it is more important to get people who are working in government sector for years and years and can actually share experiences of what it is like after it. I am maybe going to put some video in the like in some scenario in which I've not covered something or there's something new. Uh, subsequent videos are going to be on the website or the platform that I'm trying to develop over here. You can even access it using an app. Uh, but my YouTube channel has kind of diversified in a way that it is no longer about competitive examination. I hope you get that idea now. But with that said, I am not going to just leave behind everyone who is preparing for competitive examination. And the main reason for that is that if I leave this community, I don't see anybody else who would be giving authentic guidance without trying to turn it into a business. And if there's someone else, I would be happy to promote that person, he or she, whatever uh, that person has the qualification, if it is good enough and tries to create a platform without any greed, I would promote that person. Uh, but as of now, I do not see anyone. Maybe I'm unaware, but I do not see much. So I have created this platform because it was well within my resources. I already had a website. I had multiple courses going on. And it did not uh, take me a lot in the, in the position that I am financially uh, to create this platform for those people who are preparing for competitive examination. So what is this all about? I did used to have a playlist on my YouTube channel, Talk4712, named uh, Gate a Complete Guide, Isro a Complete Guide, Bark a Complete Guide, and those were just playlists. Those playlists are gone. A lot of you guys have been asking, where are those playlists? The thing is that playlists are good, but it's not the best way because playlist has like whatever video came later, uh, they are going to pop up first. And I've, I've gone through like three, four cycles of these competitive examination, which means that three, four years. And so whenever I used to make June, this is what you need, July, this is what you need, December, this is what you need. So there would be a lot of... Uh, 
mismanagement if you're going through a playlist. And that is why I've created this platform where you are going to get a structured view of what you are going through first. Because I have said it again and again that partial knowledge is more dangerous than no knowledge. And as much as I want you to go through every video that I've made on competitive examination, I know that YouTube algorithm is only going to give you few of them. And then you're going to forget about it. And thus, I have developed this platform where you are going to get a structured approach of preparing for competitive examination. This is to be done first, then this, then this. I know a lot of people are going to enroll and are still not going to go through everything or in a sequence manner, which is how you're supposed to do if you're taking this examination seriously. But I know that a small percentage will do who were not able to do it before. So you'll go to ashishtalk.com and then over here amongst the online programs, you are going to find this one, Competitive Examination, A Complete Guide. You join it, you join it for free. You are going to need to create an account, which is the easiest over here because you can just log in using your Gmail. So I'll just show you a few steps like let's say sign up with google or sign up with um sign up with facebook and the course is now open for you but before that you can see the structure of it even before you sign up so as you can see what i've tried to create is bifurcate it into few segments all right so preparation of competitive examination in the engineering domain always starts with gate because GATE is the most basic level, it is the subset of all the other syllabus, all the other competitive examination like ISRO, BAG, other PSUs. So you start with GATE examination. So that's first over here. And there's a lot of before you begin, as you can see over here, these will be in the form of videos, obviously. And these are nothing but embedded YouTube videos. But over here, you're going to see it in a structured fashion. That's it. That's the whole point of what I'm trying to create over here. A platform that helps you. You can play it over here as well, or you can click over here and go on YouTube. It's completely up to you. But if you go on YouTube, then you are, you're supposed to come back over here and follow the next step. You can complete the step and move forward. It will be marked over here. It's an interface for you. You create your own profile and uh, then you keep on completing and you will get proper statistics over here. If you go on my profile, my subscription and all, you'll, you'll get an idea. Over here, as you can see, you can understand how much percentage you have completed, which also depends which part of the preparation you are in. Obviously, there's a group for discussion. We're just going to call it Coffee and Cookie with Talk Family, which is a cool name. Just take your coffee, take your cookie and join in for a chat. This is the best way I can think of to create a platform for aspirants who are preparing for competitive examination. If you go through it, these are the things that I'm thinking that students and aspirants are missing out on. Before you begin, there's so many things that you should know to make a decision whether you should prepare for this examination or not. Don't get in head first because a friend is preparing. Then you get into some of the topper interviews. I'm not saying you should go through all the topper interviews before you start your preparation, but it's just that topper interviews are segmented separately so that you listen to people who have cracked this examination in the most genuine fashion, which is what I try to do with Momentum Podcast the most. It is all segmented together on YouTube. You'll have to search, you'll have to find it out. But if you're preparing for competitive examination, just go over here and you do not need to worry about anything. I did the job for you. And then most importantly, it is all segmented according to the months. At what month, what stage of your preparation you should be in. This is the prime reason why it is better than a playlist. Because you know which month you are in, which phase of preparation you are in. And so you are going to go to that. And only these things are important at that point of time. Next time, you are going to move forward. If you are lagging behind you you'll have to do a little bit of morphing a little bit of adjustment same goes if you are a little bit ahead of the schedule but point being that this is the sequence even within this month this is the sequence in which you should be following one by one and some of the months you'll see that there's barely any advice because 
A lot of advice is supposed to be taken in the beginning and then as you move forward, you apply those advice and put your time into your preparation. Don't keep on just listening to everybody else. That way, you are hurting your preparation now. And then as you go closer and closer, you are going to see the videos which are more important for the final days. And finally, you are also going to have post-gate guidance. Now, this is the thing. I do not want people to look at the post gate guidance when they're at september i could have locked this as well but i do not want to restrain people you can watch any video at any time but this is how i've suggested focus on this video at this particular time of your preparation and then after gate preparation comes back preparation because back is generally going to be in march isro is generally going to be after gate or way before gate but isro preparation cannot be done without gate preparation so if you're done with gate this is how you move and then all the important videos your particular discipline when it comes to written test written test comes first you do not need to worry about interview now later the interview comes and it is all structured in a way to save humongous amount of time for you and save you from so much of distraction that comes with youtube so this is something that i worked on for a long time the beta testing is done and the site is ready link will be in the description box just go in it's free sign in but i still need a little bit of your help if you think that there's something that can be worked upon or there's a little bit of glitch somewhere then let me know uh, the email and everything is also provided over here you can just go ahead and shoot us a mail and everything is over here even the notes that you need the free lectures that i've made everything is in one place i do not know what more you can ask for but if you do have something else that you need i'm still there put it down in the comment section let us together make this platform great share it with other people who are preparing for competitive examination just share the link send them and tell them to join after all it's free and I'm sure if you're serious, you follow it in this structure, you're going to be successful in this examination. If not, then you're not going to be successful. That's something that I've understood with five to six years of experience. I know what kind of students do not make it and come to me after get examination crying. These are the reasons and the reason is just one. You did not have a proper strategy. I initially was going to write a book on this page by page chapter by chapter explaining everything but then i thought this is new day and age and competitive examination students barely are going to have time to go through books to so make a structured course which is free and book is again going to cost you something so i think this is the best way and your suggestions and opinions are very important this is how the channel talk 47 12 grew it mainly grew because of the audience and the comments and the suggestions. And I, that is why I knew exactly what to do. And also because of the consultancy sessions that I did with thousands and thousands of students, talking to them personally since February of 2018 gives me a perspective. A lot of times you guys ask, how do you know exactly what I need? I know that because I'm in personal touch with you guys. So use use this resource that's the thing about free that a lot of people take it for granted and they do not use it enough but i firmly believe because i've been running a lot of courses which is paid as well and i see all the time people paying money and not using the resources too all right so people who say that i cannot make it free because otherwise you'll not understand its value that's bullshit okay people who understand the value they'll use it with free as well They'll pay money if they need it as well. Speaking of which, you can help and support me and get a lot out of it in return. If you join my online programs, which are multiple right now, Art of Speaking is the oldest one. It started in October 2020. We had 12 different batches, hundreds of students, and then we ramped it up and made it like partially recorded and partially live. So Art of Speaking is the oldest course that I developed. It is now the best it has ever been. Well-structured, well-developed, finely detailed. You get everything that you need to improve your communication skills, personality, confidence, which is something that you will be needing in any avenue of career. 
A few of the recent ones are sustainable YouTube career. If you're thinking of developing a career on YouTube, starting a passive income, starting an income streamline through YouTube, which has almost zero investment, then I have given you all the steps, equipments, strategies, how to produce a video, how to reach more views. And then finally, you know that I'm a big time podcaster, over 170 episodes published so far. And there's a course on podcasts called Podcast 101, how to start a podcast, how to distribute in various platforms, again, the equipments, how to get guests, how to lead a conversation, how to lead an interview, everything that you need is over there. You can go ahead and explore more. Get these courses. These are at the minimum cost possible. And if you want to book a personal telephonic consultancy, there's just a registration slot. You pick your slot, you pick your date. It's according to your convenience. Uh, there's a very good system now in place that's pretty much about it thank you for watching the video till the end and you're welcome for this platform and any suggestions again goes down in the comment section links will be in the description box and this is kind of the final nail in the coffin to competitive examination from my direction it is complete it took four to five years to complete it but it is complete now the guidance is complete if there's any new thing to be added it will be added on the website not on the youtube channel the new videos will be over there itself if there's an interview it will be on the podcast uh, sorry if there's an interview of a topper it will be on the website itself I was just about to record an art podcast right now and then I realized that that thing that I said right now might have made you think that I'm not going to be available on YouTube anymore. I'll not be available on social media anymore. That is, that cannot be farther away from the truth. The only thing is that we have been changing direction for a while now. What you can expect out of this channel is every weekend you're going to get one podcast of Ashish Ranjan Talks. There are a lot of guests lined up. So there's no way that I'm backing down. Matter of fact, I'm amplifying it, structuring it, making it more professional as a podcast, making it available in all the platforms, audio, video platforms, and making it more professional on social media platforms like uh, Instagram, Facebook. Now you can find a separate page on Instagram, Ashish Junior Talks. So if you're following this podcast, then you'll be getting the regular boost of guidance, motivation, and direction. Lot of guests, high profile guests, have already been interviewed the podcast will be coming up sequentially and more information will be obviously available on the website there's a secondary youtube channel now which is specially for the clips of the podcast you know earlier i used to post both of them the episodes and the clips on the same channel but like i said we are moving up so we are going to separate it from now on you decide which ones you are going to follow all the links will be down in the description box back to the video this YouTube channel to 4712 is not going to have videos on competitive examination anymore. We have grown farther than that and I've done enough to create abundance, hundreds and hundreds of video, a library to help competitive examination aspirants prepare for this examination in the minimum cost with the best direction so that they do not waste their time and money. This is the vision that I started with. And even in 2018, I knew that I'm not going to be guiding students for competitive examination for the rest of my life for the obvious reasons. That is the reason why I never started a coaching institute. That is the reason why I did not kept on teaching in a coaching institute, even though they were paying me abundance of money. You know how much money there is over there. I have my own career. I'm a personality coach. I'm a writer. I'm a consultant. And I'm going to focus on that. But I'm not going to leave the aspects of competitive examination behind and that is why this platform is absolutely for free thank you guys see you in the next one thanks to comment